one-step equations with addition and subtraction. Write down this problem, x plus 3 equals 5. I know that you can look at this problem and you can tell me what the value for x is. Um, we're going to start with really simple problems so that you understand how to solve them um, to make it a little bit easier when we get to the complicated problems. So let's just remind ourselves x is an unknown, so something plus 3 um, equals 5. And remember I told you that equals does not mean answer. So what this really means is something and 3 positives has the same weight as 5 positives. So here's how we're going to set this up. I'm going to draw a balance here. Oh, that's ugly. Alright, so using our algebra tiles, we know that the greens represented in X, and then the yellow squares were our positives. So on the left side of the um, equal sign, we have an X and we have three positives. Um, here, this balance triangle really is is the equal sign. And then on the right side, we have five positives. So what we want to do is isolate. That is so important. Isolate. That means get the variable by itself. Get this x all by itself. So how do we get the x's by them? by itself. Well, if I take off these three um, positives here, then on this side, I can also take off three positives and still remain balanced. So I see that my x has the same weight as two positives. So let's um, write out what we actually did. Um, all right. So here's our variable, the variables on the left. First, to identify what side the variables on. So instead of um, three positives, we want to subtract three from the left and subtract three from the right. So we created uh, x by itself on the left. So we just have x. And five take away three is two. So x has a value of two. Now, after you do that, what I want you to do is rewrite your equation over here. And then I want you to substitute in the value for x. So instead of x plus 3, we're going to put 2 plus 3 equals 5. Well, 2 plus 3 is 5. Does that have the same weight as 5? Yes. So is for sure our uh, value of x 2? Yes, it is. All right, let's write this next one down. 6 positives has the same weight as x and 2 positives. So let's set this out on our um, algebra balance. So I have 6 positives on the left. I have an x and 2 more positives on the right. Well, remember, what do I need to do? I need to isolate my variable. That's the first thing you have to do. What side am I concerned about? Am I concerned about the left? No, it doesn't have an x. I'm concerned about the right because here is my x. So what do I want to do? I need to get the x by itself. So what I could do is um, remove these two from the right and keeping it balanced, I also have to remove two from the left. Now, you could look at it as subtracting 2 and subtracting 2. The other thing that I could do is add negatives to the left and add negatives to the right because those create zero pairs. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. So um, the, this zeroed out, so I have x on the right and I have 6 minus 2 on the left, so I think the x has a value of 4. So now let's rewrite it. All right, so instead of 6 equals x plus 2, we're going to put in 6 equals 4 plus 2. So 6 equals, well, what's the value of 4 plus 2? 6. So do I have a balanced scale? Does 6 equal 6? Yes. No, 
time, go back and box your answer. All right, uh, let's take a look at this one. We have five, or x minus 5 equals 7. Now let's think about what this really means. x minus 5 is the same thing as x plus 5 negatives equals 7. So on the left, we have x and we have um, 5 negatives. And then on the right, we have 7 positives. All right, so now we have to think about, well, what am I going to do? How can I um, isolate? I want to get rid of, of everything else so that I can isolate my x, get my x by itself to find out what it weighs. Well, if I remove these five negatives over here, does that mean that I'm removing five positives on the, the right side? No, they're not the same weight. Negatives and positives do not weigh the same amount. So I can't just subtract and subtract. So what I'm really doing is I am adding positives to each of my negatives. So, and when I do that, I create zero pairs. So I added five positives to the right. So if I add five positives, if I added these guys to the right, I also have to add five, po uh, I'm sorry, five positives to the left. I also have to add five positives to the right. So, um, these, all of these guys zeroed out, and I don't have any zero pairs on this side. So I'm left with x has the same weight as um, 5 and 7, which is 12. So let's figure out what we did algebraically. So we had x plus 5 negatives. So we added 5, and we added 5, so that this created a zero pair. So we think that x equals 12. Now I want you to substitute it back in. x minus 5 equals 7. Instead of x minus 5, we're going to put 12 minus 5 equals 7. Well, what's the weight, or what's the value of 12 minus 5? Don't stop here, guys. Keep on going. So 12 minus 5 is 7. Does 7 have an equal weight as 7? Yes. Now you can go back and you can box your final answer. All right, um, now we have 9 has the same weight as x and four, x minus 4. So let's rewrite this. What does that mean? x minus 4 is x and 4 negatives. So let's set it up on our algebra balance. So we have 9 positives on the left. And remember, if you don't have um, colors, you can actually just write plus on each of these if you want to. And then on this side, we have an x, and then we have four negatives. So now let me ask you, which side of the equation are we concerned about? We're concerned about the right side, because that's where our x is. So can I just... Um, remove these four negatives over here? No, I cannot because I don't have any over here to remove. So what do I have to do? I have to zero them out. So now I added four positives to this side. So these guys zeroed out. So if I add four positives to the right, I also have to add four positives to the left. So now I have my value of x, uh, or x has a value of 13 positives. So now let's go back algebraically. What did we do? To zero out this negative 4, we added 4. Do you see how we're just using inverse operations? So 9 and 4 is 13, and we think that 13 is our value of x. So now let's re rewrite it. 9 equals x minus 4. So 9 equals, instead of x, we're going to say 13 minus 4. 9 equals, what is 13 minus 4? Oh, it's 9. 
that balance is out, so I can go back and I can box my final answer. All right, so I know that this was pretty long, um, and I went through it really fast. What I'm going to suggest that you do is watch it again because it's it's going to help you uh, if you watch it a couple times. So um, make sure that you identify the side of the balance that you need to work with. If your unknown is on the left, then that's the side you start with. If your unknown is on the right, that's the side you start with. Then you want to isolate your variable, and you're just going to use inverse operations to solve. All right, so real quick, I just want you to try um, these problems. So x minus 4 equals 13. So let's rewrite it. Instead of x minus 4, let's say x plus negative 4 equals 13. So which side am I worried about? I'm worried about the left. So how do I get rid of those four negatives? I have to zero them out with four positives. So four positives on the left, uh, on the right as well. So now those zeroed out. I have x equals what is 13 and 4, 17. Now let's go over here. Let's do, let's rewrite it. x minus 4 equals 13. Instead of x minus 4, let's put in 17 minus 4 equals 13. What is the value of 17 minus 4? It is 13. Does that have an equal weight as 13? Yes. So go back and box your final answer. All right, just one more. Uh, x plus 5, I, I'm sorry, x plus 3 equals negative 5. I'm worried about the left side of the equation. So I have added three positives. The inverse is to add three negatives or subtract 3. So those zeroed out, I have x equals negative 5, and negative 3 is negative 8. So let's rewrite. Uh, let's rewrite our equation. Instead of x plus 3 equals negative 5, we're going to go ahead and substitute in. Negative x plus 3 equals negative 5. What is uh, 3 positives and 8 negatives? Five negatives, does that balance out with five negatives? Yes, it does. Go back and box your final answer.